The goal is being able to shape, that is to mold by heating, the front part of the upper. In other words, this is the goal. So depending on the style, depending on the heel height, this curvature and this curvature too must be given by molding the leather or any other material which is used uh, for the uh, upper cut. And because of this mechanical treatment, uh, the piece of leather, because I'm focused on leather right now, tends after very few minutes to straighten back to the original condition if it's not well reinforced. That's why we have to use special types of reinforcing which are not the same type of reinforcing used to, uh, for example, straighten or reduce the elasticity or stretchability of any other type of upper. The material is called jersey. Again, suppliers like APC will um, supply rolls, so different height, different um, uh, types of design, uh, different thickness, different weight. Basically, uh, the uh, thicker uh, the upper material, the thicker is the reinforcing to be used to be able to keep in shape, obviously, this piece after this mechanical operation. One of the most important things to remind is that it's a jersey, so it's not uh, something like uh, a drill or a twill. And so in this case, uh, there is not this type of construction made by warp and weft, but on the opposite, there is a sort of construction made by crossing rings. And thanks to this type of construction, this material is soft, stretchable and malleable enough to be stretched very strongly into the machine, to the molding machine, and to be able to obviously to preserve the shape after cooling down. Um, as we have seen in many other cases, one side of this material has, has been coated by glue, could be EVA or polyurethane, um, and generally these type of materials are never self-stickers. They must be heated because the glue has to penetrate into the piece to be molded. So again, depending on the type of material, we have different degrees, different pressure to be applied, and this is the, just a simple pressing machine. The crimping operation works this way, and as you can see, the operator is just pressing the pedal step by step, and the operator is pulling the sides of the machine this way. So as you can see, the mold is so after a few seconds, as I was telling you, the machine will open, and the piece is perfectly shaped and molded. The next step is obviously try to check the result. So as you can see, as I put in the title, this is the template check with reinforcing as we can see. it. Let me launch the video clip to show you that first of all, as the operator is showing, the material is thick enough, a good hand feeling. And so the operator places the, cr the crimped pattern on a table and by the template okay the check regards the curvature given okay I would like to show you also the template check but without reinforcing so on purpose I ask the operator to crimp a piece of leather so a flat and large vamp and this is the result as you can see <clears throat> the condition of that piece after the crimping is completely different, is too soft, so not strong enough. The operator will check by the template, the same template obviously, that piece, but it is very visible. The piece of leather, it is too straight. So let me say that after the crimping, very probably the curvature was correct, but after a few minutes, which is the typical time you know, between the crimping and the check, the curve has changed.